truth or dare were you avoiding doing these questions? I have been. I decided rather than do this, I needed to go and buy some more CO2 for my uh, fish tank. I needed to get the meal, do some ironing. Um, I visit, we had some visitors, so that was another good excuse. I did the good clean of the kitchen. So I needed to find the loft. So we've got some pink and white flowers to make things feel more beautiful. Aren't they lovely? And got some marshmallows. So one for you, one for me. Now, help yourself. Take one to suck and one to chew. Good. That's what my grandfather always used to say. Now, these are intimidating, but you just need to sort of be think carefully about it. So I'll write the number of the question here and off we go. Now what I tend to forget is the integers, the whole numbers. So just be cautious of that. And the other thing to do is make sure you've got a rough idea of what's going on. So we've got nine pizzas plus one pizza and a bit. So that's less than a half. That's a bit more than a half. So we're going to end up with 10 pizzas and these will make roughly another one so it's going to be almost 11 so just almost 11 sometimes in multiple choice that will be enough now shout at the camera if i forget to do these whole numbers just shout at me don't be shy i can cope well once you've finished your marshmallows so nine and one is ten plus now this three ninths is a third let me just show you um, if I cut those into thirds, and then if I cut each one of those, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three ninths is a third. So that's plus a third. What we did maths wise, we said um, three goes into that once, three goes into that three times, and there's our third. So it's plus a third plus five-eighths because we've already added this one and this nine. Ooh. Now we're going to have to make these into the same size bits of pizza. What number will eight and three both go into? Ooh. Well, I almost went for 12 there. Certainly 24. Is there anything smaller? Um, 18 won't take eight. Will it? So we're going to have to go for 24. So that's 10 whole pizzas, plus now we're going to have this lot out of 24 and that lot out of 24. So you multiply the bottom by 3, multiply the top by 3, multiply the bottom by 8, multiply the top by 8. Which means we've now got 10 and 8 24 plus 15 24 is 8 See, you don't like that, do you? I can hear you saying, I don't get it. Don't worry, it will all come. It will all come. Um, eight marshmallows plus 15 marshmallows is 23 marshmallows. It's so much easier, isn't it? So that's 23, not marshmallows, 24 fourths. And just for the sake of maths... Oh, you should have shouted louder. Why didn't you shout louder? Because you had your mouth full of marshmallows. Look, I've written out the wrong question. I almost swore then. I've written out the wrong question. That's seriously not good, is it? Let's do it again. Right, nine and three ninths plus one and two fifths. So that's still going to be ten and a bit, isn't it? So nine plus one is ten. Three ninths, we already know, is a third, plus two fifths. See, now we've done the first one. This is going a bit quicker, isn't it? Um, so that's ten. And um, put them both over 15, because three and five go into 15. 15 plus. Multiply the bottom by three. Multiply the top by three. Multiply the bottom by five. Multiply the top by five. So it's 11. Are you still unhappy with these bits? Okay. Five satsumas plus six satsumas equals eleven 
Satsumas. Why did I make that 11 there? It was 10, wasn't it? Have you been shouting? You need to shout louder. See, these are mistakes. You'll find loads of mistakes. It happens. 9 plus 1 is 10. Still 10. And what happened was I knew that was 11 there. So I wrote the 11 there rather than here. It's just, I will teach you the way of silly mistakes, my dear child. I certainly shall. Right, let's go on to a happier one, shall we? 2 and... Do you know what? I think you should get a tutor with a brain. It could help. It really could. 5 and 1 6 plus 9 and 1 third. Now, get ready to shout. We need your shouting. Let's do the whole pizzas first. 5 pizzas plus 9 pizzas is 14 pizzas. And now we've still got that sixth. And we've still got this third. Now that's slightly easier, isn't it? Because you know that if I've got thirds here and then I cut them up each into half, that makes sixths. So one third equals two sixths. You already knew that. So 14 plus one sixth plus two sixths. What well, we did maths wise, we left that the same. Multiply the bottom by two, multiply the top by two, which makes 14 and three sixths. One satsuma plus two satsumas is three satsumas, but we can reduce that down. So there's our one there. And you can see that our three sixths. Oh, that wasn't very clear, was it? Let's get a. Our three sixths makes a half. So it's 14 and a half. Ta da! Let's clear ourselves and we'll do number three. So we've got one and five sixths. Ooh, the cat's up to no good. Plus nine and a quarter. Let's do the whole pizzas first. Nine plus one is ten. Plus five sixths plus one quarter. Now what number will six and four go into? Come on, shout louder than that. Good. Twenty-four. You could make it smaller. We can make it twelve. And I like smaller because my maths, <laughs> you've seen what my maths is like. So multiply the bottom by three, multiply the top by three, multiply the bottom by two, multiply the top by two. And let's just uh, illustrate the point here. If we've got a clock, uh, 12, 6, 9, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, you can see that a quarter equals three twelfths, can't you? One, two, three. There you are. There's a quarter equaling three twelfths. And whilst we're on the clocks, um, if we divide this into sixths, there we are. Ooh, where did that go? What have I done wrong? Ah, oh, there it goes there. Um, ah, pretend that line's not there. And then that one, and then that one. You can see that our five sixths doo -doo -doo, goes at ten o'clock, which is ten twelfths. Right, so that gives us ten whole pizzas plus thirteen twelfths. Now thirteen twelfths means it's all the way round once, and then you've got an extra bit left over, because twelve twelfths make the whole one. Happy? So that's 10 plus the 1 is 11 and 1 twelfth. Don't worry. Hang on, I've got one half here. Bear with me, I might have written that down wrong. We are not going to go. This is just playing up, isn't it? We can accept that it all goes wrong. There'll be lots of that before we all go home. Tears before midnight. Yes, 12. I just hadn't written it out right. See you soon for the next thrilling adventure of adding and subtracting fractions.